uh, of course, I, I knew very young that I didn't want to be a longshoreman, as I said. Um, and I didn't want to be any of the things that, uh, you know, some of the dads of the other kids I worked with the project did, uh, you know, this kind of hard, backbreaking physical labor, uh, what a lot of blue color guys were doing in those days. Um, when I got interested in science fiction and fantasy, uh, mostly science fiction those days, there wasn't much fantasy, I decided that uh, I would be an astronaut um, or a spaceman, uh, as we called it then. They hadn't actually coined the word astronaut. Uh, that didn't come to the Mercury program, but I thought it would be cool to be a spaceman. Um, but you know, they weren't taking any applications for spacemen, as I learned later. <laughs> I, I did go to Hayden Planetarium and sign up for a trip to the moon, which they still owe me. They haven't, <laughs> they haven't delivered on that yet. Um, and at a certain point, I said, well, okay, I, maybe I can't be a spaceman, but I can write about spacemen. So I'll, be a, I'll, I'll write science fiction and fantasy and comic books. Um, and that was pretty good and you know my my comic fanzines were being, stories were being published uh, you know the white raider and manta ray and all these other cool heroes that i invented uh so i thought i was kind of on track for that but then one year in in uh, like junior uh my junior year in high school the teacher uh said uh well why don't you uh the, the assignment was to research what you wanted to be and write a report on the career that you envision. So I researched fiction writing and discovered in the course of my research that the average fiction writer, and we're talking 1960, um, 1964 thereabouts, the average fiction writer made $1,200 a year from their fiction. And even in 1964, I knew that wasn't a hell of a lot. <laughs> so I said, I better I better figure out something else to do here besides this fiction writing thing. And the writing was the thing I was best at, so I settled on uh, journalism, because I was on the school paper and all that. And I'll be a journalist, and I knew like there were people like Clifford Simak, uh, who was a, a journalist all his life and wrote his great science fiction novels on the side. So that seemed a good path for me. And once I decided on that, uh, Northwestern has the best journalism school in the country, so. I wanted the best, and I applied there, and in a fit of madness, they let me in. <laughs> cool.